Welcome back, Demons. I'm Lisa Bowers, and here are your weekly announcements. February is Black History Month. During this month, we will remember and celebrate the African American people in our history and the contributions they made. Sophomores can pick up a ring order packet in the cafeteria. There's a girls' varsity soccer scrimmage game on Tuesday, February 23rd at 6 o'clock and Thursday, February 25th at 7 o'clock. Girls JV Soccer has a home game on Thursday, February 25th at 5.30. On December 11th, 2020, the FDA issued the first emergency use authorization of the coronavirus vaccine. This allows the vaccine to be distributed in America. But what is the vaccine? Will students take it? Let's learn more. The coronavirus, also known as COVID-19, has affected everyday life, and things that were considered normal, like hugging and shaking hands, were things of the past. Vaccines such as Pfizer and Moderna are being used to help combat this virus and help build immunity in the body. Coronavirus is a cluster of RNA viruses in the body that can cause respiratory, neurological, and gastrointestinal diseases in the human body. The vaccines that are being produced right now are targeting the cluster of RNA viruses in the body to help defend the body against these viruses. So the vaccine is uh, an mRNA type vaccine. Uh, those vaccines have been studied for many years. Um, what they do is it is a message or instructions on how to create a protein. Um, our body takes up that mRNA, our mRNA it's called messenger RNA, and uses, uses it to tra transcribe or to make a protein. That mRNA is then rapidly degraded. Um, but our body has learned how to make that protein, which mimics this virus. Our body expresses this protein and makes an immune response to help um, protect us um, from the virus. The first case of coronavirus in the United States was in January 2020, and less than a year later, the vaccines are now being authorized to be distributed. While some students see a problem in how the vaccines are coming out so quickly, other students don't see a problem. It's worrying that it was developed so quickly, but at the same time, I'm just very ready for all of this coronavirus stuff to be over. And hopefully this will get us set on the right track to go back to how things were. I'm okay with it. I don't see why they would push forward a vaccine if it were not ready. But the real question that everyone is wondering is, will students take this vaccine if it was available to them? We released a questionnaire that asked whether students at LE would be willing to take the vaccine, and these are the results. Out of 427 students who took the questionnaire, 203 students answered no, 113 students said yes, while 111 students were unsure. Absolutely, and because um, it would just help probably stop the spread of it or at least yeah help me from catching it like it does like every other vaccine I think it would help a lot with getting things to slowly start getting back to where they were before the pandemic um as of right now if it were available to me I wouldn't take it maybe later once more people get it then I would consider taking it but as of right now I would not know as we progress in today's climate, cleanliness and staying cautious of other safety will be important to combat this coronavirus. I'd encourage everybody to, to remember that we are in the midst of, of a pandemic to be safe. I wish everyone um, good health and safety moving forward, but I would still encourage everyone to practice good hand hygiene, wear a mask, um, and if you're st sick, stay home. Um, we want to protect our loved ones as well as our community. Well, I just want to say thank you so much for this interview. It has been very insightful. Um Remember to wear your masks, socially distance, and wash your hands so we can combat this virus. This is Lisa Bowers reporting for LATV.